Hello and welcome everybody to this week's happy hour. This is your happy hour and I'm kicking you off with a little 10 minutes of a concept or a theme that you can go away and consider and bring yourself some simple happiness in really highly complicated times. I'm Ali Mortimer. If this is the first time you've ever caught me live, if this is the first time you've ever caught me on a replay, hello, I hope you are doing really well. I'm in a different location today. I am in our gorgeous party tent. Do you want to just check it out? I'll show you, look. Oops, can you see? Oh, you can't really see. That's just going to show you my handle. But look, we are in the scar, the sky. What do I want to call it? This is the stargazing lotus bell tent that we put up this weekend for the full moon. And we had a massive party and it's, it's really wonderful. So James and I are going to keep it up this week, this week so that we can stay in and do a little bit of work. So I thought I'd do the first live of the week in here today. So welcome, let's dive straight in. Today I want to introduce you to the second principle in the harmony principles I've created. And these harmony principles were created or really considered when I started to think about how I moved out of one of the darkest periods of my life back in 2016 when I had PTSD, clinical depression, uh, eating disorders and insomnia and how did I move out of this really really dark place to creating this wonderful life that I love so much and embrace and get so much fulfillment out of and it became seven principles and this is the second one and it's not only one that helped me move out of a very very dark place into a very very light and happy place but it's also where I am able to by living and breathing these harmony principles stay in this beautiful space and where light just keeps getting lighter and lighter and lighter and brighter and that's what I want for all of you and for all of my clients so today's harmony principle number two is all is about acting on spirit. I acted on spirit. Now I have come to believe, and I didn't always believe, that we are souls. We are spirits having a human experience. We are souls that have been given a human body to come down here onto this planet to enjoy everything it has to offer. I would have used to have thought that that was really, really woo-woo, but now I fully believe that that is the truth. Because when my body was broken by the PTSD, when it was broken by lack of sleep, when it was broken by eating disorders, the only thing that I could hear, I couldn't hear with my mind, I couldn't think with my mind, it was just broken and shattered my whole body. This is when my spirit and my soul came to the front and it was my spirit and my soul that led me out of the darkness because I was able to hear. I had been in a very, very corporate job. I had done everything that everyone had ever told me to do and I was influenced by society and I did everything with my logical brain and I thought my way through my life until I was no longer able to think. And I started to feel, I started to use my heart and I started to use my soul and my knowing and my gut and I started to go inwards to find the answers rather than inwards up here. And that's what I wanna share with you today. When you can quieten the mind, you don't need to go through the depths of darkness and have clinical depression and you don't have to lose your mind in order to hear your soul speak, to hear your spirit's truth, to lead you and to guide you. You can create that. You just need to quieten your mind and tap into that inner knowing. So what did I wanna to say to you today? I just have to check with my notes. So I believe in absolute positive thinking. You can come in here and grab your positivity and you can take your positive thoughts and you can think positive things and you can look for the silver linings and you can repeat your mantras and your affirmations and you can say you are enough and you can say you're a success and you can say all of these things out loud and you can think all of these things. And that can be enough for you to be happy and to feel happy. But if it isn't, and the feeling is the right word, if you're saying these things and doing these things and speaking these mantras out loud, but you're not feeling it, this is where I wanna come in and help you because I believe that if your positive thinking and if your positive affirmations are not making you feel happy, then you've got some work to do. And this is the work that I would like to introduce to you today. Excuse me, I'm just gonna take um, <clears throat> a sip of water. Hmm. No amount of positive thinking, no amount of affirmations can override what your soul actually feels. And it's about really tapping in to that. So I've got three questions for you to go away and consider today as part of your happy hour. Number one, where are you thinking 
positive thoughts. Where were you thinking positive thoughts, but not feeling it? Not knowing that it's true. You might be saying the mantra, I am enough, I am enough, I am a success, I am gorgeous, I am beautiful, whatever it is that you're saying to yourself in the mirror, but are you feeling it? Do you feel it? I am enough. I am successful. I am beautiful. Where are you not feeling it? What are those things that you're not feeling? Really start to get really consciously aware of what it is that you're saying but not feeling. Where is the disconnect between your head and your heart? Go and have a look. Go and get conscious to that. Bring some conscious awareness to that. My second question for you today, what are you saying out loud but no deep down is not true? So you might be saying, I am enough. I believe that this is the case. This is the way, this is it. But deep down, you know it's not true. You know it's not true. Where is your head out of alignment with your soul's knowing, your soul's truth? Go and bring some awareness to where your head and your heart and your soul are all saying different things. It's a really interesting exercise I did with one of my private clients this week and I asked her to go away and say, ask herself, what is your head saying about this? What is your heart saying about this situation? And what is your soul telling the you that you know? Go away and do the work and find out where you are out of alignment. And then the third thing I'd like you to go away is ask yourself, what can you think or say instead of all the things that you've just noticed are out of alignment, what can you think or say instead that brings your head and your heart and your soul all into alignment? That you can say it, that you can feel it in your heart that brings you peace, that brings you joy, that brings you happiness, and that you know is true. Because I believe that this is where a huge, huge piece of the puzzle resides to happiness. It's when your head and your heart and your soul are all in alignment. They're all saying the same things. They're walking hand in hand together. This to me is happiness. It feels like happiness to me. And it's about how can you bring everything into alignment so it feels, knows, and you think all of the same things and you're all in alignment. When you say the words, I am enough, you move out of your head and into your heart and you say, I am enough. And I can feel it and it feels good and I feel complete, I am enough. And you move into your soul and your heart, and sorry, into your soul and into your gut and into your body and into your spirit, and you say, I am enough. And you know it. Your head, your heart, and your soul are all in alignment with the truth. That is where happiness, that is where peace, that is where joy, that is where abundance lives. And it might be that you need to heal a part of you. It might be that you need to go in and have a look at your thoughts and heal what's going on there, a past traumatic experience. You might need to go into your heart and heal something that has hurt it and go and find it so that you can heal that part so it can come into alignment with what you're saying and then you can bring it into your soul. Where has your soul been denied, ignored? Go in and bring that conscious awareness to your soul and bring them all peace and that is where you're gonna find true happiness, where you can say it, think it, feel it and when you can really know it. And that to me is true happiness. I was gonna share one thing with you just at the end of this today, and you might wanna scribble it down. I'm gonna say it really slowly and I'll say it a couple of times, but one of the very first affirmations that I used to help me to get into my head, to heal and to heal my heart and to know in my soul that everything was gonna be okay, was this affirmation that I got from Dr. David Hamilton. And I'm gonna say it for you now and I just kept saying it over and over and repeated it until I could feel it. Oof, it just like suddenly would land and I started to feel it and then I knew it. And this was really, really one of the things that helped me move into happiness. I'm gonna repeat it for you today. Today, I love myself more than I have ever done before. Today, I love myself more than I have ever done before. I only ever have positive interactions with everybody that I meet and I carry myself with confidence and pride. I carry myself with confidence and pride. I only have positive interactions with people every day 
Those three statements became my mantras, my affirmations, and I repeated them over and over in my mind. And I started to feel them in my heart that it was true and know that it was true in my soul. And that so hugely helped me move through from darkness into light, getting all parts of me into alignment. So I'm gonna share that with you so that you can use that if you're needing to move from a dark place to a lighter, happier place. And if you're in a good place, use it anyway. It's gonna make you feel so good and it's gonna help you create some simple happiness in highly complicated times because it does happen, sadly. Complicated times are all around us. So that was a little tidbit of something that I shared in Friday's Life Lab. Now, if you missed it, that's okay. I know it was half term and everyone was busy. I was having a magical time away with my family. If you missed it, the Life Labs are accessible to anyone at any point in time. You don't have to come and join them live. You can watch them on replay and this one is available and it is a magical one. It is a really magical Life Lab for anybody who wants to build more confidence in themselves, to have more peace, to heal, to know yourself, to love yourself and come out with that confidence and peace and do what it is that you wanna do in the world. It was two parts, this one. It was a nice meaty one, two sessions. The first session was all about I know me. I take you through some really deep exercises to really get to know you in this phase and in this chapter of your life. Know what you stand for. We go through a really wonderful values process so that you really can connect with who you are and what you want to achieve in this period of your life. And I also take you through an opportunity to really tap into what your desires are, not what anybody else's are, but what yours are. You know you, you know your values, you know what you want. The second part was all about I love me. This was everything that I knew about how you can really fall in love with the reflection of yourself in the mirror. If you're doing lives like this, how can you sit and talk to yourself? How can you look at yourself in the mirror when you're about to go out on a date? How can you recognize that people in the audience are gonna be looking at you and loving you, not hating you, not trolling you? This was all about the work to get over your mind and move. It's all about doing the mirror work and the mind work. So that was, I love me, I know me. So I know me and I love me. That was all in the Life Lab. It's two hourly sessions. You get a workbook. It's £55. The link's in the bio. DM me if you've got any questions. Lifetime access. Go fill your boots. Otherwise, go and answer those three questions for the happy hour today, for your happy hour today, to bring some simple happiness in highly complicated times. I'm going to be back later because I've got something else I want to share as well. So stay, stay tuned. It's all about the number five, which is a really magical number for me. First five months of this year have been hugely transformational and I'm going to be sharing a little bit more about that later. See you later. Cool.